Hi, Adam from Bouncing Touch. Do you ever come across painful points on the foot and kind of wonder how to work them? That's what we're going to cover today. I'm going to cover three ways that I work with painful, uncomfortable points in reflexology. So first of all, what do these painful messages or these points mean? Well, to a reflexologist, it allows us to know where the imbalances are in the body. And so by having a, you know, a, a direct response from the client and a point on the foot, we know that that area um, needs a little bit of work or a little bit of attention. So as a side note here, I want to just make sure that what I'm talking about today is clients that have seen their doctor, right? They are in you know, reasonably good health and they are able to receive reflexology treatments, right? And so when we're talking about pain, um, we know that this person's not in like, you know, danger. <laughs> also something to note is that some points in reflexology tend to be a little bit more sensitive than others. Like for example, I find the reproductive organs to be a bit more sensitive in general than, you know, some of the other points. But what I'm talking about is coming across a point and you get the client, you know, you get wincing in the eyes, you get them pulling back a little bit. So some people subscribe to the no pain, no gain theory. As a reflexologist, I've found that you can, just by working on the foot in a different way, you're able to actually bring the pain level down and still get the work done that you need to get done rather than you know digging in and holding in and having the client you know sort of retreat and wince and be uncomfortable my goal as a reflexologist is to try and lessen the pain try and bring the client into a really relaxed state so i find it counterproductive if you have a client and you're pushing on them and they're pulling away and you know tightening up right because i actually want that to be you know relaxing and opening up not you know um feeling um contracted and you know restricting the flow of circulation right so i don't agree with the no pain no gain because i think there's different ways of working and getting the same result from um, just working it a little bit differently right so there's no need for the client to feel uncomfortable right so um, let's go take a look at this I, i'm working with somebody and you can see how i work on it i'll see you in the session room So when you do come across a painful spot, like this point here tends to be painful, and then find the pain level. With all three of these, I would do the same thing too. So you find the scale of where it sits, and I use a scale from basically one to 10. You know, one being not much pain at all, to 10 being, you know, excruciating pain. And so then I would have a scale to work with. And I would hit the point, get the scale and then I, um, in this technique what I would do is I would just continue the reflexology session as it is and keep coming back to that point and checking to see if it has moved at all right so that's one way to do it so you keep coming back and checking to see um, if the pain is coming down and so that tends to be a really good way of working with it rather than just digging in and, and the person feeling uncomfortable right so that was one. Number two technique that I would also use is basically a holding technique where you find the point. So this point again, we'll just use for today. And you just gently lighten up a little bit and you just hold it for a while. Okay, so I would say probably hold it for a good 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, and then you can come back to it and check. And by then, it's probably come down a little bit, right? So that's the second technique. The third technique is when you find the point, so again, we'll use this point, is to kind of work all the way around it, not directly on the main point. All right, so I tend to do a big 
like almost, you know, walk the perimeter of the point. So if the point is right there, you're going to walk just a little bit outside of it. All right. You can walk all the way around. And then you can come back to it. And you'll notice that again, it's probably come down in pain level, right? But it's really good if you know, if you're comfortable with it um, to first get a scale to work with so that you can see a change. And so with the client, you can see that there's been a change that happens, right? Okay, so I'm working along here and I notice that her hip area is kind of tense. So if I just go in like that, I can feel her pulling away and I can feel the whole leg getting tense because there's a sore point right in, right in here. Yeah, you can see her pulling away. Of course, I can feel a lot more than what you can see. So in this particular one, what I would do is I would use the third technique on this because I think it's going to be the best. So I'm going to work all the area, all the hip area around and I'm just going to lighten up my um, pressure just a little bit to work around there. Okay, and again, so what I'm doing right now is the main part of the pain is right in here. And so what I'm actually going to be working is a bigger area around it, right? So I'm going to kind of work from the center and then I'm going to swirl outwards. And then by doing that, it sort of dissipates this, the, uh, you know, the center of the pain and it sort of allows circulation to be worked and you know the area around it to feel more relaxed so that the center of it um, feels less painful right and so if I go in now oh there's the point it's actually up here more right so I'll just kind of loosen up a little bit lighten up a little bit I mean and then I'll do other techniques right so rather than just keeping and walking in that area you can see me kind of rolling around and massaging around the perimeter of where that initial pain point is, right? And so this one is not um, loosening up as much as I'd like. And so I'd probably just leave this one and I'd go to technique number one, which is, you know, continue on with my reflexology session. So I'm going to go over and also check on this side how her hips are doing. And again, I'm feeling a little bit of resistance there as well. So again, I'm going to, you can't see me on this side because um, the camera is over on the other side, but I'm doing the exact same technique. And then I'm just going to continue and do a bit more of uh, my reflexology session. Right, so I'm going to work other areas. I'll come back over here, work a bit more. Right, and then I'll check in. So this will be the technique number one, where I'm kind of like going back, continuing on with the session, and then checking in. And look at that. Okay, and so what I would do again is I would go back to my original pressure and see if I can work that area. and. I'm feeling right now that I'm actually pushing harder than I did the very first time that I found the spot and I'm able to work there right and she's not pulling it back anymore and so there you go it's a combination of the three so I don't just use one two or three I use a combination of that depending on what um, Reflux, reflex I'm working on. So a bigger area like the hips here, I find that doing number three, which is the perimeter kind of, I'll call it, working around this way, and a combination with number one, which is, you know, finding the spot and then moving on with the reflexology session, um, working reflexes around the area and then coming back and checking in. Um, is what I would use on this. Something that, um, you know, like up here, we found a neck point that was kind of sore. Um, with that one, I would do a bit more of just gentle touching and holding, right? And then moving and doing that. So there are really three techniques um, to deal with the pain, um, and I use them all in combination.
right? So anyway, I thought I would share that with you. So I hope that helps if you have been wondering how to work with, you know, kind of painful, uncomfortable points in reflexology. Try these techniques out, see if they work for you. If you have any tips and tricks on how to work on painful points, I would love to hear about them in the comments below. And when you comment, other people will be able to read them. So that's like really great to, you know, have some other input on this. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I talk about lots of reflexology tips and tricks and reflexology products. And I just love working with the feed and sharing information that I've come across and and found along my path. So this channel is all about sharing my knowledge of reflexology with you. So welcome and hope you enjoy. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.